not them. You're not dead. Strong like that. You're gonna try to use that Morgan Zen on her? Mm -hmm. We don't go back for the lost. Never have. If you have a problem with me as leader, you know what to do. I challenge you. You're not fit to lead anymore. You think you're the man to replace me? To become the new alpha? Jeez, he's got your back. You have the... I'm not with you. I saw you in the woods, plotting with your boyfriend. Plotting. What? Challenging you. It's yours. Oh, you're... She knows she can't beat that dude. So she picked the girl. It's messed up. She got a nice bob, man. You let us in to teach her. She but got the whole here. angle. We're still Ends here. flying everything. Peace, peace. You haven't failed me. You failed all of us. Who else feels this way? Anybody? I failed you. They all follow me by choice. Because I make them strong. Because I keep them alive. I don't want to fight you. Neither do I. That's... Too late. That's not fair. It's not fair. Wow, she's I'm a savage. savage. You wanted your girlfriend, huh? Is this little Rick? Is this RJ? Let me see him. I went there to see Negan. Have you been talking to him? Why? I feel sorry for him. He is not your friend, sweetheart. Well, obviously. So if he's not your friend, then why are you talking to him? He listens to me. Not everybody does. Ouch. I don't want you to ever go near him again. Very ouch. Why not? There's a reason that he's in a cage, Judith. He is a monster. No, he's not. He's a human being. He's killed people. People I cared about. People your dad cared about. And if we ever let him out, it would start all over again. But mom, he did get out. He's not like that anymore. That's exactly what he said. <laughs> Out of the mouth of babes. But people don't really change. You did. You've changed for sure. Go to your room. Why? Because I need a minute. You know who that sounds like? You need to know. Opie. Let's find out. 
Opie from Sons of Anarchy. I don't know what the actor's name is. Oh, they're right on him. They are right on him. Gracie. That's the little girl that they saved oh, from uh, Negan's Gracie, people. I wanted to tell you first. If the council wants to revote to send a delegation to the fair, I won't veto it. What about the ones with the skins? If our people cross with them, it, they'll be risking their lives. I think it's a terrible idea, but they gotta learn. People can weigh the risks and choose. That's the charter they agreed to. And that's what we swore to protect. And wow, her conversation with Negan, though. It's for the kingdom. No, we don't regret this. What? Where are you? Bam. You killed a boy. Ooh. 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 Boy, you weren't gone long. Maybe it was long enough. All in love. Side your own. It was. It was long enough to forget what side she's on for sure. Please. Don't be weak. Like your father. Kill him. Or he'll kill you both. You decide. a good one too so that was the walking dead season 9 episode 12 entitled guardians i actually think that when the walkers came up on the camp the alpha camp or whatever they said guardians so i'm trying to figure out that huge guy one of the uh the skinwalker people or whatever he sounds just like the actor that played opie Winston and played Gary Bertier, huge guy on Remember the Titans. And I'm about to look it up on my phone. Hold on. There he is. Ryan Hurst. See? You see him? If you have not watched Sons of Anarchy, immediate high recommendation from Sierra DTV right here. Sons of Anarchy's fire. So many things have happened in the world of The Walking Dead that because of emotions getting in the way, they were weak, they were affected, they were killed, friends were killed, loved ones were killed. And tonight, in this episode, we saw two mothers that are also the leaders, which is Michonne and Alpha, in the ways that they dealt with their daughters, were. Well, I wouldn't say that Re Lydia rebelled, but Alpha was talking about lying and it's just a sound that comes out and it's easy and everybody does it and stuff. And I don't know if that meant that she absolutely did not believe Lydia, that that guy was just some random other person in a cell, but he did risk his life to come after her. He is the same age as her. You know what I mean? So I'm sure she got the vibe of what was going on. So they woke our boy up in the middle of his sleep and told Lydia to kill him. And fortunately, I'm sure that Daryl and Connie had something to do with the, the walkers that came upon their camp, but they both got away. And it was a, in my opinion, it was a huge mistake to take the girl with them because mom's gonna be pissed now and she knows exactly where to go back to to get the girl back. And they're gonna roll in deep. 
and I don't know because it was dark. Well, Daryl knows that Alpha has a big group because a few episodes back with Jesus and stuff, they were like, they're just circling. I've never seen such a group, or a group of walkers acting so weird. And then he was like, if that's the same group, it's doubled since the last time we saw them. So he was aware of how big it was and they were tracking them during the day. So I guess he is aware of uh, the size of the group that they're dealing with. And I know that that was just him blowing smoke when he was like, we got enough manpower and firepower to light y'all up right now. Maybe with the small group that she brought to the hilltop, but not like everybody, you know? And it was, it was a very sweet moment, but she's wildin' because she knows how her mom is. She was going to get that bowl or whatever that her mom was rinsing her hands off and stuff, Lydia. And she made that yo-yo that she found. She took the string off of it and she made a necklace out of that little hilltop coin. And what's funny is when I saw her get the string, I was like, what the heck is she going to do? And then I saw um, Opie, whatever his name is, from Sons of Anarchy, Ryan Hurst. Um, I'm guessing that that's him, but spoiler alert, if it is or if it isn't, please don't tell me. I want to be surprised. She was like, take off my mask. And he started to unlace it. And I was thinking maybe she's just getting a string for her next skin mask. Who knows? But she was making herself a little medallion. She wanted to show Henry that she was still there for him and still cared about him or whatever. So she put it around her neck and bent down in front of him and put it in her shirt just so he would see it. And that gave him the hope that he needed in that moment, which I was happy with. Back over at Alexandria, the stuff that we learned today was that Michonne is in charge of security and Gabriel is the head of like the board and I really, I was like, what? Because everybody's changed. Everybody's changed. And again, I'm not watching the show consecutively. I watch it whenever I have an opportunity to sit down and actually record. So he has gotten very bold lately. He's gotten very confident lately. But then again, there were so many times where Rick counted on him and he was like, I will not let you down. And people got to step up, you know, people got to step up and we can't be mad at that. But I was like, wow, now I respect you for talking to Michonne like she ain't gonna whip out her sword and cut you in half for talking to her with a little bit of lip. It was crazy. I hadn't, they didn't even hint at the fact that Rosita was sleeping with Sadiq until that conversation between Eugene and Gabriel. I could not believe that. And then they were all smiling at each other and stuff. I don't know because I feel like we've seen Rosita and Gabriel kiss so because he is a minister he's not been hooking up with her but they've been cool but she is hooking up with Sadiq I don't know no spoilers though it'll explain itself that's just how I'm feeling and what I'm thinking right now it's funny because Negan was like yo I've changed and little Judith was like yo he's changed He's not a monster, he's a person. He said something that I honestly can't recall right now, but she definitely, I feel like it was a result of the conversations that Michonne had with Negan and with Judith that she went to Aaron and was like, if they do take going to the fair to a vote again, I'm not gonna veto it. So she's basically like, yeah, whatever they decide, I'm down with. And when she said it, I got the same feeling as Alpha, like if everybody has to learn from the decisions and the poor choices that they make in life. But it's just like when you're a little kid, you know what I mean? They tell you, don't touch the stove, don't touch fire, but I don't know why I can't touch the stove. And I don't know why I can't touch fire. Do you have to burn your finger to learn to stay away from the fire? Do you have to burn yourself to learn not to touch a hot stove? You know? Do you have to cut your finger to learn to stay away from knives? It was a really good episode. I enjoyed it. If there's anything that I looked over, I misinterpreted, or I was completely off base about, please put it in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.